Hi guys, Rene here and welcome to the workshop. If you have watched my last couple of videos, you might have noticed that my S-Works Epic is gone from the wall and that is from one reason. Uh, for the next year, or well this year in fact, I have decided to put all my focus on my time trialing to finally be able to win the nationals. So I skipped uh, mountain bike racing and cyclocross from my program. Uh, that means uh, my Epic was up for sale and I sold it indeed with a trade-in of an older Epic. Uh, this is a 2016 version. It's in very good condition, which I'm going to tune up uh, a little bit more and then sell it later on. In this video, I want to show you the process of well, cleaning and upgrading the bike, servicing it to be ready for racing and for the next sale. So, as I mentioned, this is a 2016 Epic, still a very, very nice bike in a stealthy raw carbon finish, which I really like, if I'm honest, even more than my previous bike. And it hasn't seen much use or damage, actually. Uh, these red things are just stickers and they're all over the bike from the previous owner. Uh, for some, that might be nice, but for me, it's kind of too much. I think it will be a better sell without them, so that's the first thing I'm going to remove. Uh, the rest of the bike, uh, aside from a thorough clean, it won't benefit much. Uh, the brakes are Magura MT8s, uh, Iconic RockShox RS1 full carbon fork. Uh, the wheels have been upgraded recently. Uh, these are the Roval Control cells, so nice, modern and wide. The front wheel, though, has a bit of a wobbly bearing, so I need to change that. The suspension works fine. Uh, recently serviced front and rear. Uh, I need to have a look also at the pivots here. One or a couple of the bearings here are also a bit loose. Uh, so there's some side-to-side -side play. I'm going to address that, but these are very cheap and easy fixes. After that, the bike will be ready to rock. Uh, the drive train also has been uh, upgraded to 12 speed. X01 rear Mac and cassette, XX1 chain and shifter, so a good combo. Uh, you can see that also there isn't much in it, but it's rather dirty. So I'm going to clean it up fully uh, and coat the chain in molten speed wax for nice uh, low friction running. Uh, also you can notice uh, that the bike has an almost brand new Quark XX1 power meter uh, so really it's a good all-round package uh, for marathon racing still uh, if you're ready I'll put up uh, the whole measurement of the weight and we'll see how it looks I might also mention the tires uh, almost new s works tires uh, front and rear so yeah, very good all round with a couple of uh, small improvements will be fully ready to race. So without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, the bike, as you can see, is completely stripped down, literally into the smallest bits. 
and everything will receive a nice and thorough clean uh, it's a mountain bike so even though nothing is really damaged uh, it's still uh, collected a lot of mud over the past seasons uh, particularly yeah, inside the rear triangle and such so I will have a total wash with everything then in place go all the new bearings so yeah basically every single moving part apart from the rear wheel because that's uh, too good to change everything uh, will be changed so all of the rear triangle bearings uh, the bottom bracket bearings and the front wheel bearings everything will be nice and fresh uh, the chain will also be cleaned and waxed if uh, it still falls with the measurement if not it uh, gets uh, a new one obviously the suspension has already been serviced before I touched the bike so that's okay and yeah it will be basically like rolling on a brand new bike so without further ado let's get into it okay now we are back up and I can confidently say that the hard part is now over as you can see uh, the bike is still torn down to bits but that's just because I wanted to show you uh, what I've done exactly so the rear wheel uh, and the bearings in it were completely fine so just a clean and regrease there uh, also it was pretty dirty never been properly and thoroughly washed so now it's all sparkling like brand new uh, the front hub is SRAM's uh, proprietary design for the RS1 fork. Now these are notorious for uh, the low durability of the bearings. That uh, was also the problem here. So fresh set of bearings there, plus the axle cleaned and greased, tightened and put back on place so in perfect running condition the wheels didn't need any truing or tensioning because they're almost new they're probably one of the newest parts of this build these are the new control SLs so nothing there but before the bike goes on sale I will uh, top them up with some fresh sealant although the tires are holding up pretty well and they're almost new so uh, that's taken care of then if we go further also uh, both through axles completely cleaned and will be regreased uh, when assembled cassette completely cleaned in the parts cleaner uh, a bit of corrosion there that just from the cleaning fluid that of course uh, will wear off after a couple of turns of the pedals cassette uh, itself seems to be in good condition uh, there is some wear in the color and the coating but uh, that's perfectly normal uh, then rear Mac and the only Mac of course in this case uh, also disassembled the pulleys cleaned and ready to be degreased as all the small parts of the frame all the pivots all the bolts all the spacers uh, even the rear mac hanger, uh, the crank boots, everything was completely taken apart, completely cleaned uh, and will be regreased or otherwise treated if needed. And then if you go to the bottom bracket, uh, the older Epic, the FSR that we have here, the previous generation uses a PF30 style bottom bracket and in this bike there was a rotor a thread fit system installed but uh, the bearings were knocked out uh, so I had to replace them I had some ceramic speed units brand new uh, lying around so that's what I've installed it's visible on the seals there so these will run nice and smoothly and super easy to install and convenient with the thread fit system uh, chain ultrasonically cleaned still in good condition 
will be waxed of course uh, and then it will be good to go we'll receive also a new connecting link just to make sure then we have the cork power meter and cranks uh, also completely cleaned regreased uh, the mud washed off from the crank boots where it can accumulate and it has indeed the spindle the arms everything in good condition uh, just regular wear and tear nothing special here the spacers of course uh, everything was disassembled completely cleaned again uh, then if you look at the frame I have replaced all of the bearings every single one in the rear triangle uh, this bike is an FSR uh, type of rear suspension 4 bar so it uses quite many of them but all have been replaced also uh, completely disassembled uh, the linkages everything again has been cleaned and washed properly very thoroughly as you can see every uh, speck of dirt removed there was a lot lot of mud accumulated in these areas where it was never properly washed when the bike was uh, together now it is so uh, it's very very nice indeed I also took the time uh, to polish the frame a little bit just to have that uh, nice gloss back in the raw carbon finish so as you can see it looks pretty damn good uh, of course uh, there are a couple of nicks there here the lacquer has been hit but no structural damage whatsoever on this frame so that's pretty neat also no repairs mm. as you can see I also took off the small parts uh, this is a little rubber guard that protects the chain stay from the chain it has also been full of mud but now it's clean like a new bike basically same for the cable guide for the brain shock then we have the seat post also cleaned up nicely then we have the main frame also new bearings here for the linkage polished completely cleaned washed throughout the most dirt was accumulated uh, in the cable ports so one round here as you can see nice and clean uh, full of mud there uh, not anymore luckily also in this hard to reach areas of the frame we have the complete bike obviously this being a mountain bike it does accumulate that sort of stuff if ridden properly uh, then we have the brain fork again the yoke and these hard to reach areas everything was disassembled and cleaned nicely washed so it's ready to go back together um, the headset bearings weren't too bad again had to clean and grease this whole area was cleaned off uh, then if you look at the fork this one was pretty tidy didn't have much work here but still as the rest of the parts cleaned all around it was serviced not long ago so should be fine again front axle uh, cleaned will be regreased etc so yeah that's how the bike looks like now uh, now it's just time to reassemble it, readjust it, it will get a set of new, uh, well basically not a set but a single one, a rear shifter cable and a housing so it will be nice and fresh and the rest is good to go and ready for sale for its next owner.
Okay, the bike is now ready and I think it has been returned to its former glory. Uh, luckily, it has none of those uh, hideous uh, paint jobs from a couple of uh, from the last couple of years with the white and uh, red and black themes with all the rogos and the graphics. It's just a raw carbon frame with some subtle detailing on there. And actually, I have managed to polish it to quite a beautiful shine so it's exactly like a brand new bike and if we talk about the technical condition of the bike I think uh, it is now as close to being brand new as possible so let's talk you through uh, the changes starting from the front of the bike so uh, we got tires that are almost new with some fresh sealant in there uh, the front wheel with new hub bearings, uh, everything thoroughly washed in terms of the hub, the rim, uh, the rotor rechecked, trued, uh, also uh, some dirt right here, some dust sticking to the bike. So uh, the spokes have been checked for even tension, uh, they're all good. So the front wheel is running nice and true and smoothly now without play on the new bearings. Then if you look at the fork, uh, this has been serviced and now uh, running on regreased headset bearings. Also got a bit of a polish uh, just to have a nice shiny finish. Although there are some minor scratches on there you can see right here but otherwise in perfect condition then if you go to the cockpit it has just been cleaned uh, and also a bit of polish on the handlebar which turned out to be pretty nice then we have a uh, new brake fluid fully bled front and rear brakes uh, the lockout I also checked but it works it didn't need to be bled then as i said the frame has been polished throughout for a beautiful raw carbon finish uh, as you can see here really really stunning all the bearings in every single pivot have been changed to brand new ones also some high quality units from enduro which are designed to take higher loads because they're very small bearings so a super high quality there then we have the rotor thread fit bottom bracket uh, this one has also been upgraded with brand new ceramic speed bearings in there uh, shock also serviced recently uh, the chain ring is almost new so I didn't touch that the battery in the power meter is good but I updated the firmware then we have the seat post also polished fitted with uh, fresh carbon grip paste in there, retightened to torque. The saddle is the only thing that I couldn't really do much about. It's a bit worn because it has three seasons in it, but saddle is a personal choice anyway. We'll see what the eventual owner will choose. Then also uh, here on this clamp area, uh, sometimes it's prone to creaking or slipping so that has also been completely cleaned and regreased and also tightened up to the correct torque spec then if you go further down rear wheel also checks for tension and trueness which is perfect uh, also tire fairly new with fresh sealant in there and if you go down rear mac uh, new cable, new housing from Jaguar, the highest end polished uh, slick cables. So very, very sweet action. The chain is still uh, in very good condition, so I didn't change that even though I was planning to. Uh, but I just didn't want it to throw it out. But it has been thoroughly cleaned, then ultrasonically cleaned and degreased. And finally molten speed wax applied to it, as always in this workshop. Uh, also on the rear Mac uh, I took apart and stripped down the pulley wheels which have also been ultrasonically cleaned and then regreased and the same goes 
for the cassette thorough clean there the rear wheel bearings were okay so I didn't change those just gave them a clean and a grease also with a free up mechanism so everything is nice and tight and ready to go so uh, this bike took a lot of man hours to complete but now it is absolutely ready to race uh, interesting fact uh, I lost 50 grams from the bike just by the thorough cleaning cleaning up the residual mud uh, in parts of the frame where you can otherwise not reach it so there was some build up on there now it's 10.15 kilos with this full SWAT kit on so even though it's not the latest generation of the Epic it's still pretty damn light and as I said still looks very contemporary with this subdued paint job and the updated 12 speed drivetrain wide wheels and good suspension so I hope it will be for good use for its next owner which I'm hoping to find soon okay so that has been all about this bike if you want to know more about other bikes that I use myself or just work on then don't forget to tune into the channel later on and subscribe thanks for watching and see you next time